What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, we're going to go over call only ads in Google, Google Ads, and how to set them up, my experience with them, how they work, all that stuff. So there's a few things you, a few key, key things you have to understand when setting them up, and we're gonna uh, go through that today. So before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and check out the description. We put some links in there, including links to free courses we offer and stuff like that, or services about us, all that stuff. All right, so what you're looking at right now is inside my agency Google Ads account, and we're in our white label campaign. So the first thing we're gonna do, if you wanna set up, so there's, I should start with this. There's, there's two different ways to do call only ads. You can actually build a call only campaign, which we're not doing in today's video, or you can add call ads into your call only ads into your existing Google Ads campaign at the ad group level. So you, any ad group you want, you can add a call ad. And it's gonna, Google's mobile traffic, Google's gonna prefer to show the call ad over your regular text or responsive search ads. All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're, we're, I'm showing you how to add a call only ad into any existing Google Ads account or campaign, sorry. All right, so the first thing you have to do before you start building call only ads in your ad groups is we have to create a conversion action for it. All right, so how we do that, we go up to tools and settings, little wrench icon, which I think is out of your guys' view right now. We're gonna come to conversions. We're gonna hit the little blue plus here. We're gonna come to phone calls. Right? And we're gonna choose here. Calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. All right, we're gonna hit continue. You're gonna name your conversion action. Say it's a call only lead. I'm not gonna use a conversion value. I want it to count once. Here's something where you can set your call length. So you're telling Google, I, after 60 seconds, I want my my uh, call to count as a conversion. Or it could be 160 seconds or 260 seconds or one second, it doesn't really matter. I, if you watch my videos, you know I always do one second because I want to know which keywords are driving an action in the campaign. So I'm gonna set, tell Google, if someone calls, no matter if they call and hang up or if they call and, and whatever, get disconnected, I want that to fire as a conversion because I want to know which keyword drove that action. So that's what I'm doing here. Click through conversion window, 30 days is fine, including conversions, yes. Attribution model, last click is fine. Create and continue. We're all done with that. So we're gonna go back into our campaign. Let me find it down here because we have a ton of stuff going on in here. Wait, label PPC. All right, so we're in our campaign. We're looking at the ad group level and we wanna add in a call only ad. How we're gonna do that? Very, very simple guys. So we have our conversion action set up. We're gonna go into the ad group. Let's just do white label PPC today. We're gonna to come up here to ads and extensions. You can see here we have our ads inside this ad group. We're gonna hit the little blue plus here. We're gonna come down here to call ad. All right, so here's some, some things you have to understand when uh, setting this up. The phone number you're using here Google bots will verify it's a phone number associated with your website. So even if it's a tracking number, it has to be on your landing page or your website somewhere that Google bot can crawl and see it and say, okay, you know, the, the, number, the number they're using is actually on the landing page or the website that they're trying to drive calls to. Very, very important. So for this, <clears throat> we gotta set up our stuff here and I gotta I actually gotta bounce out of here real quick hold on all right so we're gonna take our URL and do that and we're gonna take our phone number which is a little bit above Ed's handsome face there we're gonna paste that right here All right, and then same drill when creating your ads. Display path, so this URL was what, or this uh, ad group was white label PPC. So we try and work our keyword into the display path. Headline here, just set that to whatever you 
whatever you're doing here, white label PPC that works. I can just kind of riff off of my own ads that I have below this. Right? Headline two, it gives you, so it gives you two headlines. View pricing, any agency size. So let's do uh, Google Premier Partner Agency. Here it asks for your business name. So make sure your business name is the same that's on the website. So business name and the phone number have to be on the URL. It all has to sync up. Description, let's just do something like call for white label prices. I'm not going to go too crazy here just to not waste your guys' time. Description 2, so it gives you two headlines and two descriptions. All right. Description 2, we work with any size agency. All right, so here's where it's really important, guys. You're going to choose your conversion action, okay? So you're Remember, we just created that, so it should pull up from a list here. So if we go up here, we come up to our thing, call only lead, save new ad, and we just created a call ad in Google Ads in this ad group. So now, if we're bidding on keywords in this ad group for white label PPC, and it happens to be mobile traffic, Google's going to prefer to show the call ad over the text ads on mobile devices. Because the, the whole point of these ads is not to go to the website, all right? The whole point of these ads is to have a call, is a button just to call right in from the ad. And if you go in here, it shows you what it looks like on a mobile. This is what they're going to see, the, mo the mobile searcher. Visit website, or you can click the call. Mostly, you click a little icon here, and they call. Actually, this actually visit website might pull up the call prompt, too. I'm actually not sure about that. Pretty sure you just click the uh, call button, though, and it just calls. I don't think it really takes you to the website. I could be wrong, though. But that's it. That's how you set them up. That's how they work. My experience with these, um, they work They work well, but the, the volume of traffic is very, very low when running call ads. I've never, I mean, even in big, you need a really big location to, to get a decent amount of traffic. I've always found that if you compare a call ad to a text ad on mobile, text ads will get significantly higher um, clicks in traffic. But the call ads usually convert much higher, but they're, it's, it's lower volume. So a call ad you can get, this is what I've seen from a ton of different industries. You could get seven clicks and you might get four or five phone calls versus a text ad that someone's viewing on mobile and you're getting, you know, 50 clicks and a bunch of phone calls. All right. So the traffic is just higher, but you, I mean, you could get the 50 clicks on a regular text ad on mobile and only get two leads, three leads. That's the, the whole difference here is the call ads are converting much higher in mobile. And, and that's what I've seen. It's my experience with it. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, drop them in the comment section below this video. I'd love to hear anything you guys have to say on, on call only ads. You know, if you have some, some different experience with it, I'd love to see that too. I'm always trying to, uh, to see what else we got going on here that works from other people. But this is my experience with it. I like them. I run them. Um, I only run them on campaigns where I have a big enough location. So if I'm targeting, let's say I'm outside of Philadelphia, if I'm targeting like Doylestown, PA, in like a 20-mile radius around that, it's a little town by me, I'm not going to run a call-only ad just because it's just going to, you're going to get few impressions. Now, if I'm targeting Philadelphia, I would run a call-only ad. So that's my logic when running these. So hopefully uh, that helps you guys. If you have any questions, like I said, drop them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.